Hi, I'm John Zito, Deputy CIO of Credit, and I oversee all investments for our yield business. Jim focused on our yield franchise, and I'd like to spend some time going into more detail about why we believe our yield business is differentiated and built to achieve the same high quality returns that we have historically, all while scaling by almost double for the next five years. We have no walls amongst all our businesses. We collaborate across anywhere from investment grade to emerging markets, direct lending, both public and private, and we're aligned. We invest on behalf of our own balance sheets every single day. That forces us to have a very solid risk management process. Our emphasis is always on capital preservation. We're investing money not only for third-party LPs, but our balance sheet as well. And that's required us to, to design and build a very disciplined approach that works for all parts of the credit ecosystem. We're always looking for the next new opportunity. We're always trying to look forward, always looking to innovate always trying to find the best risk adjusted returns for our own balance sheets and for our LPs. And that's not just asset categories, but it's also finding the best talent, the best people in the market that want to work on the biggest credit platform come to Apollo. We've hired over 65 people in the last 18 months as we continue to scale our business. We invest in investment grade, leveraged loans, multi-credit, direct lending, structured products, every asset class and credit, we have a large franchise and we're a top counterparty to Wall Street. We offer investors the ability to curate whatever type of risk adjusted returns they need, they can find with Apollo. We can do it on a separately managed account basis, or we can do it directly aligned in products that sit next to Athene. So you can see here on the left, Athene invests in investment grade corporates, CLOs, real estate debt, over 90% of their balance sheets in very safe investment grade assets. And on the right, you can see how we've catered and designed a product suite that enables you to invest side by side with us every single day. When we look at a credit, we're looking to provide a solution. First, we analyze the credit, we look at its asset quality, cash flow, the unit economics of the business. We assess the documentation, whether or not there's an event or timeline we need to be focused on. And we focus on the ESG elements of the business model and the management team. And then we focus on having a disciplined and repeatable process and finding a solution for that issuer. And by focusing on finding a solution for that issuer, that enables us to be a repeat customer with thousands of issuers across the globe. That's fueled our growth, not only in asset growth, but also our performance continues to be top quartile in all of our businesses. You can see our opportunistic credit business has grown by 36%. Our private origination business has grown by 28%. Our total return strategy has grown by 44% and our structured product and specialty finance growth business has grown by 33%. And that's all with one, 1 1.2, 2 and 2.3 sharp ratios. So very high quality risk adjusted returns. You can see it more here, strong performance across every asset class. We have 270 basis points of outperformance across yield. We have 860 basis points across our corporate credit hybrid businesses. That comes from just not only security selection and having a great process, but also by having very few defaults. Across our entire franchise, we've only had 28 defaults. You can see on the right, by focusing on having a repeatable process, focusing on being senior in the capital structure, focusing on businesses that can withstand a recession or can withstand the cyclical nature of the world that we live in, you can see that we have thousands of investments over the last decade plus, and we've only had 28 defaults which is much lower than any of the broad indices in the market. And when you look at our balance sheet holistically, we have 6,000 issuers we've invested in. We have 62% of our investments are in investment grade and only 7% are triple C, only 3% are subordinated. And our process continues to be very selective. We're on three quarters of the investments that we see on our platform, we pass on. We only had a 27% new issue rate over the last 12 months. And it's been consistent as we scaled. I get the question all the time, are you taking more risk as you scale our business? We continue to be anywhere between 21% approval rate and 30% approval rate, despite looking at 1,500 to 1,900 issuers a year. The market's going through a change. Jim and Mark talked about this in the private credit landscape. Private credit has historically been defined as middle market sponsor lending. 
We're one of the few alternative managers that have been committed to the liquid business and continue to be a top five counterparty across all of Wall Street. We're the largest CLO manager. As the private markets start to privatize larger swaths of capital and the LP demand goes into larger pools of capital, we are the incumbent lender for thousands of issuers that will enable us to be front and center to privatize that part of the market. It's not the 10 trillion part of the market, it's the $50 trillion part of the market, which we think that we're gonna be able to be a market leader in. And whether it's dislocated credit, whether it's large cap origination, whether it's credit secondaries, we've always been a first mover and we continue to hold ourselves accountable to set the standard to be a first mover on new opportunities for our LPs and for our own balance sheet. We grew dislocated credit in five years to $5 billion of AUM. In just three years, we grew our large cap origination business to $21 billion. And credit secondaries, we think, we have $4 billion of new opportunities in the pipeline. And as we scale, we're looking to attract the best and the brightest on Wall Street to join our team. We've hired people from all the major banks, partners, heads of credit, heads of capital markets. They've joined our team. They can fit in with our team because we have a consistent language that they understand about Apollo. And they wanna join the place that's known for being in credit. Credit is 350 billion of our assets, of our 450 billion. And as Mark has mentioned, it's the majority of our growth. So we'll continue to provide risk adjusted returns through a dis disciplined approach. We're gonna continue to refine our language, continue to focus on being great solutions providers for companies that we've been lending to for decades. We're gonna continue to innovate, whether it's through FinTech, whether it's through looking out on the horizon to be a first mover on any new asset class, we sit at the forefront of all changes that are happening within capital markets. And we're gonna to continue to equip our team with the best and the brightest, with the best training, and hopefully what we deem to be the best people that can help build our business and maintain a long history of high quality performance. So thank you everybody today for spending some time with us on Yield. We're really excited about the future.